What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode we will set up the firing for the police AI. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. Alright, so in the previous episode we made that when our you know, police AI sees us, he basically begins to chase us and that's it. Now what we need to do is create a new task that will basically fire the player. So for this, what we're going to do is go to the AI folder, police, and open up the behavior tree. So on here we have these two sequences where we have patrolling and then chasing. So on here, what we need to do is, at the same time as chasing, we basically need to fire. Okay, as simple as that. So let's begin by creating a brand new task. So let's go up into new task and select blueprint base, go into the tasks folder, and then name this something as bt underscore task underscore fire target and now that's that we can go ahead and just click save and there we go we have this new task created so let's go back into functions and just select the receive execute ai which is basically the gameplay of the task so as soon as it begins to basically execute it will go through this so in this case what we need to do is basically fire now in this case let's make it simple and just put a print and then a finish execute all right just to we can see how the prints will occur so if i put this like this and mark success is true go back here and then just basically remove that wait a second and you know put something as fire target you can see that not no blackboard no uh if i press play <coughs> when he reaches he is firing but when he's moving he is not firing so there's one thing which there is which is the simple parallel kind of node and in this case we can put one task to be running pretty much parallel to another one and in this case we can do this so if i press play as you can see he's shooting at the same time as he is basically going ahead and chasing me which is better and it's exactly what we want so we're good to go now, of course, we need to actually implement firing from the character itself with the animation and everything like that. So let's go and open up BP Police, right? And let's also open this in the full editor. And also let's go and, you know, enter the blueprints folder and open BP Player. And in here we have basically the shooting mechanics and everything like that. So in this case, we are going to copy some things over here, right? In this case, about a firing and so on. So what I want to do is copy the fire Ralph event with a play montage and also we can see that we have the line traces and you know spawn emitters going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy basically everything. Basically, right? Also the comment, copy, go to BP police, delete everything, paste it, and boom, we have our firing uh block here of code. So let me just place this here and let's go ahead and make this a bit smaller right so it kind of fits a bit better our code and now if i compile we have a bunch of errors that's because there's some things that are not created in this case for example instead of camera we would basically just get the mesh okay and we will shoot uh, from the mesh itself and then for the you know emitter locations and all that stuff i need to go and basically you know get a rifle so i can copy the rifle go and paste it as a child of mesh reset the location and rotation and in the parent socket i can place it on the weapon or mouse no that's not what we want we want it on the um rifle hand on rifle that's it and we'll set visible to true by default so our policeman will have this here now we don't have errors and everything should basically go ahead and work Correctly. I'm gonna put this for duration so we can preview the line trace. But now, of course, we need to go ahead and call this fire event. But in this case, we, you know, I'm gonna make it more universal. And instead of going to the task, getting the controlled pawn and doing a cast to BP police, we're gonna go ahead and create an interface. So everything will be more organized and we can, you know, reuse this logic for more. Um, you know blueprints and not only the BP police and also use performance in general so I'm gonna go into the blueprint section right click and create a new under the blueprint section blueprint interface let's name this something as BPI underscore and then I'm going to name this something as police AI and then with that said I'm gonna go ahead and open this 
and now automatically it will create a new function. Let's name this something as fire uh, rifle. Sorry, rifle not but use fire. There we go. And now we can compile, save, and go to our BP police, go to class settings, and just add that um, police AI new interface. I can double click on the interfaces, it will add this one, and now I can go ahead and just plug that there, delete this, and now we're good to go. So I now just need to go to the fire task, delete the print, and just get the control pawn and do a does implement interface. And let's select police. So if it does, have the police AI interface, all right? We're gonna make a check here and then just go and do the fire directly. There we go. And now we don't need to directly go ahead and cast to that specific blueprint or whatsoever. It is universal for whatever pawn has this uh, interface, right? And it's also way better for performance. And of course, we want to mark success as true button here success is false for the just in case it doesn't have the interface right and with that we actually should go ahead and press play and boom it's actually going ahead and shooting but of course there's some things as animations still are not playing why this is because of the probably because of the default slots and things like that so if i check the mesh civilian animation blueprint you will see that it doesn't have a default um slot so we need to add that for our animation montages as you may know and now actually you can see that it is well still not shooting with that um, but i think it's because we are running on a different um slot in this case we have the upper body slot so we're gonna go back to the abp civilians like this and change it from default to upper body and now you can see that it actually will play the animation in a very weird way <laughs> so uh, one thing that we need to make sure is that we are splitting the body in two and we can actually see this if I get rid of this mm, Get rid of this and open up the characters folder mannequins uh, Sorry animations avp character you can see that I have a, a Slot upper body right which basically splits the body in two. We're gonna go ahead and make the same thing So I'm gonna copy this layered plants per bone node go to this one paste it. All right This will be the output and the base pose will be basically this one, right? But for the other one, it will be this one and then the upper body slot, right? But for this, we're gonna you know, split the body, the, the connection, sorry, in two cases. We need to use a cache like we have already used. So let's create a new pose. And in this case, this will be locomotion in general. And then we can just put this here, plug here, locomotion. And on here, we can use locomotion but with the upper body and now making sure that it has the spine correctly set up this now should look good and there we go so uh now with that said i'm gonna put this over here mm -mm -mm. we basically play that and it looks pretty nice so you know the thing is that right now i think the line traces are just going all over the place and they're it's not actually going to be clear. I mean, it's, it's hard for it to actually hit me. It's, 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 it's basically not hitting me. So I'm gonna go back to the BP bullies and I'm gonna make some adjustments for the um, line trace, right? Right now it is using the mesh rotation and that is good, but I'm gonna change this to be just the get actor location. All right, for this case and also this case, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this two nodes. And then for the world rotation, I am going to be using the get actor rotation and then the get forward vector, which actually everybody had here. And then just delete this to bones, to bones, to two nodes. And that's it. So now we are not using the, you know, transform or, well, in this case, location and rotation from a component, but from the actor itself. So the line trace now goes forward, you can see. Still, it cannot hit me. So we're gonna make a difference here. And it's instead of doing a line trace, we're gonna do a sphere trace, which is gonna be a bit uh, thicker and easier to hit. So I can just drag with control the start to here and the end to here, and the radius maybe 15, and then make sure that uh, this is set as visibility for duration, and that should be it really. And then just hold control here, hold 
control here and I hold control here. So we completely disconnected this node. I can delete it and just replace it with this one, which now has a radius. So it's gonna be a bit easier for the enemy to hit us, as you can see. Um, now, it is uh, still kind of colliding with everything. <laughs> so um, instead of actually doing by channel, I think it will be better if we do four objects. So again, replace it with control. Okay, sorry about that. Gotta make it a bit bigger also. 25 around that. There we go. This is a uh, delete. Plug it here. And now we can go ahead and just drag this, make array, and then select type pawn. So now we're actually going ahead and detecting pawns. But remember to go into the BP police and set this to four duration. So we can see, as you can see now, it is indeed hitting the player and we die. And, you know, we could have changed the in the VP player, in the mesh, the collision settings to be affected by visibility, but it's better if we do it for objects instead of visibility, you know? And yeah, now we'll basically go ahead and shoot us, and we go ahead and die. Now, of course, still, he shoots with a bit of uh, weird animations, and that's really because of the, um, of the uh, firing <coughs> rate, <coughs> and because he's not um, aiming. But we will set up that, you know, in the next episode. So that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of unbelievable five videos and tutorials, so check them out. We only have access to the prep files through Patreon or YouTube members, so check that out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials now, yes, plus it. Bye bye.